Yo, my brother. We all, G. What are you saying? Nah, man. I'm here, man. I'm here, man. I'm trying to survive in that, man. How's your Saturday, man? How's your How's your weekend going? So far? Yeah, it's all right, you know. It's all right. It's just my, my friends came, came like about two hours ago. Yeah. Came to check me. I had to social distance still. Yeah. <laughs> I saw your story. Yeah, was you on a bike ride or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was earlier on, man. Trying to trying to get some some exercise and that, man. Trust me, it's important. <laughs> yeah. How are you, man? How are you coping? And I'm good, man. I'm good, bro. Like literally, just um, I just released my new project, Impact Over Numbers, and I've yeah. just been soaking up all the love, man. I've been getting so much love and like good feedback, yeah. and like I'm just so happy and pleased. I couldn't be more happy, bro. Like. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Like I, I had to listen. I streamed like the tracks. I streamed the album, and I'm feeling like what's that one? Vent, yes. Vent Part Two. Yes, Vent Two. Yeah, man. I was in the mood. I was in the mood that day when I told you. Yeah. And I was listening to it, and it it, it resonated with me, innit? Yeah, man. And ru- running. As yes, well. running, running, running. Yes. Yeah, running, man. Um, like what, what was your thought process when you were making these tunes um, do you know what I had the concept after Nipsey Hussle died yeah. after Nipsey Hussle and Cadet died yeah, yeah I man. got inspired man I saw how the whole world reacted to their death and it just started making me think yeah. like how important it is to like impact people in a positive way do you know what I mean yeah, so cool. I was like yo I need to make this project called Impact Over Numbers and just um, an emphasis back on like the importance of like impacting people and shit and then um, mm. yeah the project came together so naturally even the Burner Boy intro in the beginning like, I was literally watching yeah, yeah. I was watching an interview on um, YouTube and I was watching one of his interviews and he just started talking he started arguing with the um, interviewer about how important it is to like not care about numbers and I was just like yo this, yeah. I was, like, this is perfect and then I grabbed it and I was like I'm going to yeah. use it for my intro and then I used it for my intro, and then um, running was actually my A and R's idea. When I was with this, when I was with my last label, he actually came. Mm. He sent me the sample. I don't know if you've heard yeah. that, Richard. How old are you? I'm, 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 I'm in my late. I've gone past the late twenties, mate. What, what is it though? <laughs> what is it? Be specific. No, I'm actually thirty. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you probably there's there's an old there's an old school song here called Running. Yeah. Is it called Running? I think. Yeah, yeah. Running from a group called Far Side. Yeah, and that was the sample that I used. Mm. Yeah, I clocked, I clocked the running tune that like, I've heard this before, but I couldn't put my finger on it. Like the the instrument. Yeah, thing. it's a big, it's a big tune, but it's a big sample. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good, man. It's like the venting, the vent part two, and the running. That that was mad. It was good, man. Yeah, I appreciate. I feel it. like I feel like I feel like you just say things that people are thinking. Yeah. Like, like even in one of your tunes, you said like, oh, something like, if Jesus was about, what would be in his bank? Oh account, yes, yes, have... that's an event. That's yeah, an that's... event. Yeah, yeah, that's mad. Like, I think you know, people think think things, but they won't say it out loud. Yeah. But I think you have this like gift of just saying it, like, bam, just putting it out there, and then people will say like, yeah wait a minute, I thought that, or you understand? Yeah, definitely, man. I think that for me, like, it's so important for me to connect with my audience mm. and me to be as relatable as possible. Like, if you don't connect yeah. with your... Like, someone just wrote transparency. Like, they're so right, Rob. It's so important. If you're not transparent, yeah, yeah. if you're not transparent yeah. with your audience or you don't connect with your supporters, what's the point? Do you get me? And the best way to connect... Yeah. The best way to connect with your audience is to tell your story and be as authentic as possible, bro. That's the best way to connect. Yeah. So that's what I try to do with every song is just give them, like, a piece of me, like... Mm. Yeah, man, it's mad. It's mad. That's what. That's the only thing you can you can do. Yeah. And, you know, and mu- music music is the the like one. It's like the voice of the people. Yes, like, and it's a universal language as well. Exactly. Everyone that's understands music all over the world. That's what. That's what I was gonna touch on. That's what I was gonna say. You you you, you took the words out of my mouth. You get what I'm saying? So that um. Yeah, man. I briefly wanted to like get get into like an introduction for people that may not know you. Yeah. 
just like introduce yourself, like what you stand for, yeah. and you know, like, and then we get we get the the ball rolling from there. Yeah, man. man. I go by the name of Shoka. Um, that's my music name. My real name, government name's Kenneth. Um, I'm an artist. Yeah. I'm an artist from North London. Rapper. Yeah. I'm a rapper yeah. from Tottenham, to be specific, Bulldog Farm. Yeah. And um, yeah, pe most people know me from my grime history. I was in a grime group mm. with Marvel. I don't even know if you know that, but um, yeah. I was in a yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in a grime group with Marvel, me, Double S, and Vertex. We was together for like five, six, seven years. Um, we put out so many mixtapes. We won awards. We toured with Chipmunk, Skepta, Diversity. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we did so much sick things, man. We got signed in, like, 2010 to an independent record label. Then we ended up leaving that label. We ended up getting dropped by that label. Then um, after we got dropped by that label, I fell into, like, a deep depression, spiralled into depression, went down a mental health journey myself, ended up getting sectioned and put in hospital in 2012. And then I got put in hospital again in 2013. Then again in 2016. So I got sectioned three times. And then um, after that, I built myself back up, just started working on myself really hard, man, reading books, studying people, asking, um, getting to know myself better, I built myself back up. And then I ended up getting signed in 2018 for a song called Self Love. And um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you heard that song, for a song called Self Love. And then um, I put out this project called Conscious Crud last year that went number three in the hip-hop charts, did really well. And then 2020, we're here with Impact Over Numbers. So that's a brief, that's yeah, my man. journey. And that's a... I was networking around that, so, you know, I would know what's, what was what was going on them times. Yeah, you understand? definitely. Yeah, man. But, um, yeah, man, I think I think your story is very unique, you know. It, it, I think there's a quote, yeah, you can, you can fall, like, seven times and as long as you get back up and... It's all about the bounce back. Hundred percent, definitely, bro. It's all about the bounce back. Like, there's a lot of people out here that's suffering and been through whatever, and it's all about the bounce back. Some people don't even bounce back, so you know, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, I salute you, bro. Thank you, man. You I appreciate that, man. But yeah, yeah, man. I appreciate Crazy, that. And bro. do you know what it's like? conversations like these is what helped me bounce back because that's what I used to tell myself. Mm. I used to say, bro, I can't wait to bounce back because I'm going to be like having interviews and I'm going to be telling people my story like mm, mm, about mm, how mm. I bounced back and I got back on my feet and it's going to inspire people. That's what used to motivate me. So like, yeah, yeah. so what I would say is like, big up my, my G Akeem, you know? So what I would say is like, for anyone that's mm. in a tough situation now, try to create like a future goal, do you know what I mean? That will help you look past your present situation. And that's what I did. I had a future goal that, like, yo, I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to um, inspire people with my story. And yeah, we're here today and I'm doing exactly that, so. Yeah, man, you know what? Like, you may not know, but there's people that, you know, that may not have hope or whatever, but when they like it's probably hear your tune or whatever, they'll you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how musicians, artists, all these people like touch people in places you wouldn't even imagine. Hundred percent, yeah, definitely. And that's why I made that's why I made impact over numbers because the numbers I was mm. getting was not reflecting the impact I was making. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Because you gotta understand not everybody comments on your videos. So, mm. But it doesn't mean that they haven't watched it and they're not impacted by it. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, I got exactly. a song. I had a song. I got a song called Be Yourself on my first EP, yeah? Mm. And... Mm. Like, yeah. And, um... But a girl messaged me and told me that, obviously, um, it's kind of sad, but her boyfriend committed suicide and shit, yeah? But she told me that he used to listen to that tune. That's what made him hold on. Now, mm. if I was judging that success of that song by the 2,000 views, yeah, I would think I failed with that song. Do you get me? Yeah, But yeah, her yeah. telling me that story lets me know that he was one of those 2,000 views and I impacted someone. So mm. that's another reason why I made impact over numbers because views don't reflect the impact you're making. You can touch one person that can change their whole generation. They can use that information you told them and they can use that information to spread it to their children and pass it on to um, their kids. Do you know what I mean? Just by touching one person. Yeah. So 
that's the message I'm really trying to push. That I'm really gonna push that message to the day I die. Like, focus on no, focus man. on impacting people. You know what? I support that man, and I salute you. You get what I'm saying? As I said, everyone's been through like drama or whatever. Like, I've had my fair share of drama, and you know, mad experience. Yeah. So, but it's all about the bounce back. Man. Definitely, hundred percent. Yeah. So that um, what was I gonna say? What was it like growing up in Tottenham, man? Um, it was like growing up in any other hood, man. There was, there was, there was everything Ooh. there, man. It's like you're exposed to negativity, so much negativity mm. at a young age. Do you know what I mean? I feel like what you're exposed to is like so important because it shapes you. If I was born, mm. if I was born in a rich area, I probably would have been a millionaire by default. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Not because I'm better than anyone, but it's just because of what I'm around. So yeah. it's like, that's why most people that come from the ends, when they get into the music industry, they become something because it's not like there was bad people or dumb people because those are the ends, but it's just what they were surrounded by. As soon as they get into a positive environment, they start to flourish. And like, bro, I got arrested bare times for carrying, um, yeah. for carrying weapons on me, for robbery. Like, do you know what I mean? And it's like, I think about that and I'm like, why did I get arrested? And I just think about it and it's because of the environment that I was in. And what I was surrounded by. I wasn't necessarily a bad person. Mm. I was just like peer pressured into certain things. And I never had a mind of my own. Now I've got a mind of my own so I can make my own decisions and um, make my own mood. So. And it's, you know what it is? Like, it's not, like, obviously you've got to pay homage to where you come from. But, you know, sometimes I feel like, because I, I come from a similar, similar place. And yeah. I come from East London, that um, near a minute. Yep. But like, sometimes it's like, um, what's the word? Yeah, I got I got a short memory, but um, that's no, cool, bro. Yeah, it will come back to me. It will come back to me. But yeah, what what I'm trying to say is like, um, there's more to life. Yeah, there's more to life than like you know, that when you think outside the box, yeah, and, you know, there's some people like, I was talking to my friend the other day, yeah, there's some people, obviously, it's not, some people haven't, like, with you, yeah, you've gone touring and you, you've gone different yes, places. Yes, I've been so exposed you, to a eyes, lot. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to yeah. say. Yeah. So your eyes, your eyes have seen other things. Yes, it's true. Like, that's a great, that's know, a great point you made. That's a great point. Yeah. And you know so good That's about that point? Sorry to cut you, but yeah. you know so good about that point you've made is that mm. once you've been exposed to certain things, you know you can't go back. Yeah. Like, you really can't go back again because, like, you've been exposed to it. It's hard to go back to, like, your old life, bro. Mm. Like, mm. and um, that's why it's, it was kind of easy for me to bounce back as well because of what I saw. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. I've mm. seen success. I know what it looks like and I've got a clear vision in my mind so I know where I'm going. So yeah. when I was down, I was still visualizing like the success I've mm. been through. I had a good memory bank of like good memories. They get me. Some people don't. Yeah, some people don't have that. So when they're down, they don't really have anything to pull them out of that dark place. Whereas like mm. I was down, and I was visualizing good things. Like, no man, Shucks, you've got to get up, man. You was on tour, like you won awards. I was saying all these positive things to myself. Mm. So mm. it's like you you mentioned a good point. So what I would say to people is get as much exposure, good exposure. Because mm. it will help, like, go to rich areas with your friends. Do you know what I mean? Like, travel with your mm. friends. Like, it don't take a lot to travel. The money that you use to spend on a Gucci belt or you use to, um, do you know what I mean? To buy designer yeah, yeah, clothes. Sure. You can put that into a flight, bro, and go see the world, man, and just expand, expand your mind. It's true, it's true, it's true. Even, like, even if you're, say, like, because this is what I tell a lot, a lot of guys, like, because, Obviously, when you come from an area like, you know, as you said, the hood and stuff like, yeah. that, a lot of your friends are gonna go to jail or whatever. Yeah. Even if even if they lock you in jail, yeah, like you, like this is what I told my friend, yeah, like even if you read books, you can you can get knowledge from books, yeah. wisdom from books. You do you understand? Definitely. Yeah, man. So like, it's it's these books can take you out of that place. Yes. Even though you're, even though you're locked in, in it physically, like your body's in locked in, but your mind yeah. can be free. Yeah. yeah, your mind can elevate Definitely. to 
to another place. Definitely, bro. Yeah, man. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Mm. But, um, like, how did you first get into music, man? Um, I got into music from my friend. My brethren was rapping first. Mm. And I heard him rapping and I was fascinated by it. I just fell in love with it. I was like, yo, what is that? They get me. And I went home and I tried it for myself. And um, yeah, I just fell in love with it, bruv. I just fell in love with it. And I just think it's meant yeah. to be because some people, some things just pull you. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like your purpose will pull you in instead of you forcing it, if that makes sense. Mm. So like, mm. I feel like,